Dang it. Well, it seems like that strategy is now tossed out the window. And I threw it out the window, the window, the sick and we window. So, yeah, we basically have no way of fighting this without getting, uh, without getting massively killed in the process. Oh yeah, Alidacy is really close to getting 100%. I'm really happy of that. Even with our colonies not exactly being the best in the world, they still get educated, which is what I love. Uh, Frederick Blight, good job. Let's go kill these, the rest of these Mahajians. <sighs> I mean, I could probably destroy Ireland pretty easily. It wouldn't be that hard, it's just... <sighs> could we get troops over there fast enough to start creating some, like... Hmm. That's really the question, because we have a more powerful army than they do by a long shot. But, I mean, we're we conquering all of this, which is really weird. Over here, ooh, these guys are going to get destroyed. So, we're winning in that respect, but, like, we have to eventually invade the UK. If we want to actually, if we want to actually get to real, you know, diplomatic advantage here, we're going to have to attack them. And anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Welcome, guys, to the fourth great episode of the Fourth Great War, where, um, apparently my vassals are at my are actually doing stuff like Spain is invading back all the territory that uh, the British had conquered and they're actually mounting a, a pretty good invasion of uh, you know British India which is surprising which by the way they will have to go through all this but yeah that's pretty good good job guys I haven't really done that myself but good job for you guys oh you guys are actually coming down here to come fight me uh, Siam don't try it I'm more powerful than you by a long shot. So, anyways, though, we've basically reached a stalemate with the British, as I easily anticipated, because, uh, well, in most respects, we're... Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. There's only two ships right there. We could probably beat them. Oh, uh, wait. It's two ships. Okay. Were they heavies? Wait, is that heavies or is that... Oh, it's only two raider ships. So with our two mortars, our two advanced mortars, we should be able to... Yeah. Holy shoot! Get down, get down, get down. Get down, get down, get down. Okay, good. Okay. So this is where the tricky part becomes because they have an insanely amount of ships. More ships than we can ever count. More ships than we could ever proceedly beat. Um, Even if I built a ton of ships every oh wait even if I build a ton of ships everywhere in every single one of my colonies I do believe we're not gonna have enough to defeat them which is sad for me to say by the way reopen up everything keep everything open I need every single one of my factories chugging along in this great economic war that we're fighting right now um oh South Africa joined it <laughs> dang it Why'd you have to prove me wrong, South Africa? I was so hoping you guys would stay out of this. So, um, we basically just have to, like, who is, who's our enemy, by the way? Just so I kind of get a good idea. Um, yeah, we basically have most of our enemies neutralized. There is a slight bit of annoyance right here in South Africa. I'm pretty sure if the Germans get their hindquarters into gear, which I think they are, They'll be able to deal with the South Africans pretty quickly. Um, and the Spanish, suffice to say, might actually deal with all the British over here, which would be really nice. Uh, kind of wish the Ukrainians would do that too, because they have a pretty big army and they'd also do things. I also wish Germany would also be a little bit kinder. But yeah. With this whole, like, British thing going around, it's... The short answer is I'm just basically going to have to build up an entire fleet before I can actually, like, do stuff. Because they have a lot more ships than I do. And honestly, that's going to cause big issues. Because I can't actually do anything. Okay, and let's start upgrading our colonies, I guess. This is also now our colony. Which I find so weird. Seriously, when did this become my colony? Oh. Okay. Um... But at the same time, we do have some advantages, which is the fact that this is going to start giving us some war score. And that's what we basically have to do, is we just basically have to just keep giving ourselves 
more and more war score until the point that they just well honestly give up so let's see what else Sierra Leone do I want Sierra Leone yeah, I do want this province right here so I was looking at this earlier uh, you know what actually let's finish out the provinces in Tongo because I do like the idea of finishing off Tongo so uh, Britain I'm gonna add the sphere of acquire the provinces of Tongo 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 yeah there we go there you just have to keep you just have to keep adding more and more until it like overwhelms them but if that doesn't work we're eventually just gonna have to suck it up and go fight them not exactly the great wow we're losing to even the sub vassals which is why I don't like it's not exactly the greatest plan ever but it's probably the one we're probably gonna have to do eventually uh, the the Indians as I thought would eventually overwhelm the uh, the Spanish over here but they gave it more effort than I've ever seen the Spanish do in any of my fights I've never seen Spanish troops go all the way to India so it's really cool to see that I've also never seen Zyamian troops go all the way to Austria but we won't talk about that so in all honesty, could we make a run for it from here to there without getting caught? Most likely not, because look how many ships there are. We need at least a few heavies on our side to be able to break through the British blockade. And so what that means is that we need naval technology to be able to do this. Which means I'm going to have to go back here, get some steel turbines, and get some high amplitude fleets. Yeah, which means I have to work on my fleets. So yeah, we're just, basically for the next couple of years, we're basically just going to be compiling an actual navy. Um, and I guess inside over here, we're just going to be crushing all the Irish armies that keep arising over here. Because there's no point in keeping our fleet over here on the outskirts, potentially in danger. A lavish ex- Oh no, I didn't mean to restore the- Son of a- ah, That's going to hurt me for a couple of years. Anyways. Um, this should be done anytime soon. Mines of Commission. Uh, rush through reform? Sure, why not? Let's just get, let's just rush through reform. Limited safety regulations, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with a lot of reforms nowadays. I mean, really, what do you guys want? Eight hour workdays? Sure. See, I told you guys I'd get eight hours workdays eventually. These people really wanted to not work that much. You know what? I'm gonna grant that to them. They get a lot of pensions and they get 8 hour workdays. My people are insanely happy. Or at least they should be because I'm a really benevolent leader. I give you guys a lot. You guys don't even realize how much I give you. Mm hmm. Yeah. I don't get any credit either, but I don't mention that part. Okay, but anyways. We have basically. We have basically gigantic. Oh, what do you guys want? Is it Italian restoration? Yep. <sighs> Germany, I need your help. Yeah. Go destroy the Italians for me, please. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah, please go destroy the Italians for me. I really don't wanna. Uh, yeah, we don't really need... We don't need, really need Iraq and Austria. I just had them in there just because. But yeah. Uh, go destroy Italy for me because Italy's trying to be a jerk, which is really unbefitting of them. Um, and apparently they are destroying some of my Sicilian troops, which are not exactly nice. Um, and then our troops over here are just kind of chilling, which is alright. And then <laughs> Italy, this was a stupid choice. Even in wartime, this was a stupid choice. You guys are still not finished? What have you guys been doing? Finish up with the sieges already, America! Gosh dang, you guys are idiots. If you want your wish to come true, I'm gonna need a little bit more. Uh, attack is blockade. Wow, you guys almost have no war score. Okay. By the way, we, if you guys just give up now, just give us what we want. Which is... Uh, force you, you can demand prohibit them from raising armies of 50% of it. Uh... Yeah, I don't want any of that, any of that. If you guys accept this, then I don't have, we don't have to go through the torture 
of any of this. I mean, they probably accept everything else. But I really want this because this will give me... Look how much prestige this will give us, people. I mean, I hate to admit it, but that would basically... Basically make us above everyone else in this game and... Put us in the utmost uh, respectful position amongst everyone. So I kind of like, I kind of want to do it. <laughs> oh, did the tribunal states turn against us? Oh, so sad for them. <laughs> My allies are apparently actually fighting back in Iraq. I mean, Iran, even though I stopped caring about that feature. <laughs> Good job for you guys for actually giving uh, cares about them. But, yeah. We're just kind of chilling now because, like, this really do. Where else we can go attack the British unless one British... Oh, Germany, go destroy these tubes already! Ah. I swear, if South Africa somehow makes a comeback over here, I'm really gonna be mad. I'm gonna be really mad. So, oh yeah, I have to be quiet too, so... Anyways, let's see, is there any other... No, I don't want to do any of this. This is... i definitely not gonna do this. Yeah, I don't care how many people want that. Movements, let's see. Uh... Nah, I'm not going to make you guys more radical, because I don't need more radicals in my country. But, yeah, we can't get anywhere close to the British Isles without getting a bigger bigger navy. So, we're going to have to get the bigger navy, and then go to the British Isles. That's basically how it works. Uh, and let's see, we have a good engagement right now with the uh, Austrian fleet. Let's see, what do they have? Uh, they have two ships. Am I reading that right? Yes, they have two ships. Uh, two heavies. Wow. They have one ironclad. That ironclad might be the difference. Um, we're gonna figure out. We're gonna see. I mean, we're not really known for strategic waters, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to beat these guys. We just have slightly more than they do. But that ironclad could have been the difference between life or death. And that may sound like me being uh, a little bit ignorant, or not ignorant, a little bit like facetious, but no, that could have been the difference between life or death. We just got lucky right there. But we really. <laughs> I really should end this war. Like, I really should. I know I should. Because the British are most likely never going to get this mental empire. They'll accept us taking the columns, but they're never going to get the humiliation of of us completely destroying their empire. Although, I, what I'm basically hoping is going to happen is that they just basically have to do uh, a couple of stuff. They're not going to accept this. And I'm not going to dismantle all those fortifications. We just need to accept these two terms of conditions, plus the Great War Calculation. Hmm. It actually feels like the Great War Calculation is exactly the same as this mantle. I feel like it is, so you know what, I'm just going to... Let's just see, if I'm not going to do anything to the British, hmm. if I am just going to take land from them, what land do I want to see taken from them? Hmm. Because I feel like maybe the Casas Bella is a little bit more about just conquest. I mean, maybe it's just they're already going to get 50% of the military taken down. We're already going to be enforcing a lot onto them, so. Wow, how did I get the biggest military power? Huh? When did that happen? <laughs> I don't know when did that happen, but that's, that's seriously cool. Um. We just need to think of what else we want to take. Maybe I probably want these, this region right over here, to kind of wind up my uh, empire over there. Um, yeah, let's let's add one more region to the British, and then I think I'm going to give up. Uh, add one more region. Uh, what was it called again? What was it called? Ghana. Okay, add the region of Ghana to my uh, British. Co Actually, you know, what? I should probably get this region too. So the region of Inner Manchuria. 
and Ghana. Those are the two regions I want. All four regions, and then I will end the war with the British. So, let's see. Which one will we come back first? Inner Manchuria or Ghana? British. Oh man, so many British stuff. Oh my goodness. Britain, you own too much. You own way too much, Britain. Ghana. Okay. So, provide instance for what I want from the British. And then we also want Inner Manchuria. Once we get those two things, then we can basically end the war. And the first great war will be won by the mighty and cool Austrian Empire. Who really didn't do much except just like chill out and, and just be like, Hey, we're in this war. Yeah, we're totally going to win this. We're going to get friendly relationships with Portugal. Yes, we're almost there. We're almost finally getting Portugal back in our sphere. It should not be in with our sphere. It should always be with us. Okay, now one more goal. We just need to get into Manchuria, and then that's going to be the last continent. Once we get them, then we basically can end the war in a good, timely manner. Or should I say, we're going to end the war so that we can gain everything. And then probably what I'm hoping is that the British will go into a gigantic civil war that will basically make them weak. Mm-hmm. Weak. So we have to quickly hurry up. Once that's done, fabricating, uh, yes, yeah, so all these regions will become mine. <laughs> uh, and we should be, honestly, we should be able to displace this population pretty quickly. Oh, and we can actually, ooh, we'll be able to actually turn this into a colony, I mean, to a colonial province, or to an actual state. I can't wait. Okay, 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 UK, you ready to give up? I won't force you to do this. You just need to do everything else I ask of you. Okay, you don't need to also do all the dismantles stuff. It's kind of stupid. Oh, they would accept up to this much. Okay, so I'm just gonna humiliate. I do like the humiliate Canada idea, so we can keep that, but this is what I want from you guys. You guys accept? Good. Let's do it then. End the First Great War! <gasps> yes! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, first off. Let's get the state. What? At least 1% of the current ratio is 1.2%. What corporate is the customer? No, no. Oh, we're still at war. Dang it! I completely forgot about the other war. Okay, open up all factories again. Um. Yeah, let's go deal with. Let's go pretend to go deal with this war. Uh, let's go see. Let's go have all our armies return back home. Because now since the war is over, we don't really need them. Uh, let's go have all of our armies over here in the different lands. Go back over here. <laughs> and everyone, that was the first great war. What do you think of it, guys? Leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Uh, we have entirely new lands at our disposal. Apparently, the British did not upgrade any of this land. Which is unbefitting I believe because we are we are upgrade holics we love upgrading so for them to not upgrade their own land is I think shameful I mean, seriously what else do you spend your money on except upgrading I mean, honestly what do you spend your money on that's all I spend my money on is upgrading so for them to not upgrade is a great distaste but speaking of which I'm gonna let this play out in this great war or this other war that we're fighting with Italy, it's more of us just poning Italy. Italy, do you want out yet? Yeah, let's see. Uh, I don't really care about that. Just, do you guys want out? Yeah, you guys will accept this, so... Yeah. Let's... Wait one second. Okay, I made my decision. I had the war goal by state. Uh, Pinmont. There we go. Alright. Once you guys once you guys admit that, then we can end the war. Forward. Interesting. I'm sure. Oh gosh, this is all terrible. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Demands of war. I, I'm. We're, we're not making that many demands. Holy. Da -da 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 -da. 
No taxes for like years. Oh my goodness. Britain, I'm in love with you right now. You guys made myself only have to impose 20 taxes. Oh gosh, if we could actually... Oh, okay. Keep like a 3% tariff ratio. <sighs> oh my goodness. That's so much, man. That's so much money. Man, I don't even know what to do with it. Okay. Um. Let's see, though. Let's take over the rest of what we need to over here before anything else happens. Oh, shoot. Let me guess, our only... Yeah, our only Austrian Navy just got defeated. Yep, with all our transports. Yep. Well, just give it some time. Okay. Probably could go send some armies over there to go help. Oh my goodness, we don't have any way of getting these soldiers back. Oh, shoot. Okay, uh, start making new transports back in, uh, my other land. No, yeah, not, no, no, not clippers, sorry. Steamers. Let's see, in Europe. Yeah, just keep making transports. Yeah, we're doing a lot of sea power right now. <laughs> a lot of our ships just got destroyed. But yeah, let's go finish off the rest of... The Germans are going to be able to finish off what we're going to need to. And I get... Guess I'll see you guys next time.